time, Jessica. Welcome back to my channel. And I'm irritated. Um, this was supposed to be a whole different type of video. It's like almost 11 o'clock. And the video I want to film, I can't even film. So, because, and I'm in my usual setup, which is my bathroom. It's like damn near something to 11 o'clock. I have to get my kids ready for school the next day. And what I cannot stand is irresponsible parents. That's another reason why I don't really care for ja is Jazzy life. I, like I really do not stand that bitch. But these people upstairs over my head, they on that level. Because if you know that I have to get my kids to school in the morning, they have to wake up. You are so inconsiderate that you let your kids run up and down, up and down, up and down, up. It's like a fucking zoo, okay? Not on top of that, if y'all not arguing, y'all fighting, y'all cussing each other out. Like, I ain't signed up for this bullshit. And it's constant. I have to go knock on the door. But y'all grown-ass adults, your children are their daycare level pushing first grade. I'm going to say that. So, you mean to tell me, y'all take y'all fat asses to sleep, but you got your picnics running up over, over my head? Like, what the fuck? Then on top of that, y'all so disrespectful because I go knock on the fucking door. And I know y'all fucking hear me. Nothing. Everybody will get silent all of a sudden. The fuck? So. And now, because they jumping over, running up and down the stairs hallway, they jump because they're over my child. So she just now woke up talking about, I have school in the morning. Why they still making noise? This is bullshit. Straight up bullshit. And it's disrespectful because I am a very patient person. And I can take oh so much until I fucking break on you. And I think that's what is going about to happen. Because if I have to keep stating, like, knocking, what the fuck? I shouldn't have to keep doing that. I shouldn't have to keep going knocking constantly and tell you to check your kid. But then your kids look dead at you in your face and laugh and think it's fucking funny. Like, if you, how can, you cannot control two children. How the fuck can you not control two children? Then you'd have your audacity to take your ass to sleep like you fucking tired or something, bitch. When you fucking asleep early in the morning, I'm up getting my kids ready for school. While you fucking sleep all day until what? The time when it's my time for my kids to come home from school? The fuck? But it doesn't coincide with you upstairs. But oh, best to believe it. If your nigga was outside cheating on your ass, bitch, you wide awake. You wide awake to make sure everything that's going on. And another thing, you, you can't, listen, you only got two options, okay? You either leave his ass because he's cheating or bitch you let him fucking cheat in peace, okay? Because all of a sudden this morning, bitch, you was wide awake. Like, what are you the fucking woodpecker watching what's going on? But any other fucking day, bitch, you sleep, okay? You sleep. Eight something o'clock, bitch, you outside like this. Trying to see where the fuck he gonna go. In your ride. Because you're fucking dumb. Like you have no common sense. Or when they was given common sense. It just missed your fucking dumb ass. Because at the end of the day. There's no reason. No fucking reason. For why. You let them do what they do. And you cannot control that. At all. Like, I don't understand that. Because I'd be damned if I tell... First of all, the thing is, I'm not going to tell you more than once to sit the fuck down. And I'm not going to tell you more than once to stay there, stop doing this. Because once I tell you to do something, you do it. You sit your ass down because, first of all, ain't no toddlers going to fucking run me. And I understand that they are kids. And I don't even blame them. Okay? I don't even blame them. Because half the time, they have to be taught. Okay? So, I don't even blame them. Because if you don't put 
if you don't start them young from following rules and regulations, when they get older, they're going to go fucking buck wild. And they're going to walk over you and fucking talk back to you and not pay no fucking mind. Nobody is perfect, okay? Being a parent, no parent is perfect. And I'm not saying you have to be perfect, but bitch, make sure you have some rules and regulations and common sense. Before you go to sleep, make sure you put them babies to sleep. Common sense. Because why? Other, be considerate about other people. I'm not arguing with you. I'm not trying to fight you. I'm not in your face. None of that. I am a very patient person until it comes when you fuck with my kids. Because then now, you fucking with them from stopping them from going to fuck the school. Or getting up or they have to miss the bus. Like, get the f come on, man. Have common sense. But then again, if you was up getting your ass to work, going to work, going to school, finding a program, whatever the fuck you do. Or teaching homeschool to your kids because... Listen, at this point, your kids should be able to fucking read. Okay? They should be able to tell you ABCs. They should be able to write their own fucking name. Or at least know how to spell the shit. I don't want perfection. Just know how to spell your fucking name. That's it. Or you should be reading with them. But you too busy out here not paying attention to them. Want to get mad at the world. Or whatever the cause it is. I, I don't fucking know. And at this point, you can't. The places and the foundation that needs to be in place for your kid, you're not. Okay? Because, bitch, fucking daycare is open. Okay? Bitch, daycare has been open for a minute. What's your excuse? For why? Because it, it, at this point, bitch, you should have your own running little school. If you're not comfortable with them being inside daycare, bitch, homeschool. Because when remote happened, I had to also keep going upstairs. And knocking, letting you know, like, hey, uh, my kids have school. Then when I'm home doing school, I have to do the same fucking thing. I can't hear my lectures. Why? Because you let them run up like fucking banshees. Because you don't have no say. You don't have no control. But you don't have common sense to leave a nigga. So, therefore, you won't have common sense to, like, instead of you watching your kids, you're too busy watching his moves. If you have to do all that to watch a nigga, just leave. But then again, it's your apartment, so have him leave. But, hey, we all control what we can control now, can't we? But, it, and I'm not saying like, oh, it's because she's this or because she's that. I don't know this situation. I just moved here. I haven't been here long. At this rate, I ain't trying to stay here long. But, th this honestly that stop and i honestly don't fucking care that i'm about to blast this bitch i don't give two flying shits because i'm fucking irritated and i'm annoyed and when i go put my older child on the bus because yes my older child i do walk into the bus stop i'm not saying we live in a sketchy area but uh we have more woods than anything else and it's my kids i put all my kids on the bus they because the town we live in they gotta be on the bus but i still walk my kids to the bus stop now from happens from today from tonight to in the morning i cannot control okay i'm a lot like my mama i will be real pissed off and sometimes i will forget about it but i have like shit that triggered me bitch you gonna find out how I really feel because at this point I can't take it no more and I'm doing this in my regular spot because you know why because I think you fucking hear me upstairs I'm fucking loud enough so bitch learn to take notes because I, where I am you're over my head because I hear you fucking walking and I don't care because if you don't get the memo I'm so sorry for you because that you can't understand that or at least have common sense or to know like, hey, hmm, her kids have to get to school. So let me tell my kids, let me put my kids to bed. No, because people are stupid. Matter of fact, her and Jazz Life, they should hang out because they both two fucking illiterate parents. They would be the best of friends. All day, have their kids 
run around, break pan TV from TV here, TV over there, break up all the shit. Because they're fucking stupid. I feel a little bit better. I know this is not a video that I wanted to put out, but I'm pissed off. So please excuse this and just respect my rant. And now I'm gonna try to get my children ready for bed. Well, they're ready for bed. I just have to figure out a solution to get them to sleep. But I will try to get them to sleep and I'll make sure everybody get on the bus to go where they have to be. But I feel like I'm gonna have to knock on the door again real loudly. But that's all I have. I gotta take care of getting my kids ready for bed or try to find a solution for them to be able to sleep. So I guess it's gonna be a sleepover in my room tonight. I hope you have a wonderful night. Well, yes. And I hope that you have a wonderful, glorious sleep and many blessings to you and that God got your back because He's testing me right now. It's all that I keep my cool and be calm and patient. Or I let the projects come out of me. I let the whole Bronx projects come out of me. And at this point, I feel like the Bronx is going to fucking win. But... Have a good night. And I will have I will see you tomorrow because maybe tomorrow I'll be able to record the video that I wanted to record. So have a blessed one.